Hello and welcome back to Xcrawl. Last time our Oni Fire Elementalist of Nemelex made it to level 11. So now let's keep going, hopefully clear out the lair. We should check out this scroll. Enchant weapon, I guess can go on the hunting sling. Since I'm probably going to use that even more than the Spear of Venom. And yeah, let's keep going. <coughs> Still training, fighting, shield, spellcasting, invocations. I'd like to get some more dodging as well, but there's no particular priority. The shields are really the priority at the moment. Well, the shield, I should say. The shield's skill. We found an amulet. It could be faith, which wouldn't be that bad. I mean, do I care if it's faith? Not really. And we only have one ID scroll, so... Let's just try it on. It's Guardian Spirit. Well, that's not what we want. Alright. Uh, let's try and make it back to the stairs. I guess I'll... Yeah, I'll head towards the edge of the level. Head in the opposite direction of the stairs. I like these corridors as a fire elementalist, because we can block stuff off. Although, obviously, it's not necessary for regular orcs here. Just kill them with the sling with no skill. No skill in slings. We can do the same for scorpions if we block them off with uh, Conjure Flame, but we can also just use spells. Anyway, let's keep going here. We found an armor shop with the Cloak of Starlight. Wow. And an embroidered cloak. Hmm. Well, we have a plus one cloak currently. That could be magic resistance, though. On the other hand, resist a lack plus evasion. Hmm. These are both pretty good things. I guess we'll see what else we find. When there's one shop, there's often multiple shops. Here's a centaur. Maybe just fireball it. Hmm. Could have pulled him around the corner, but... Fireball is a little more convenient. And we found our stairs up, so... That's good. We'll just clear out around the stairs a little bit. Alright. We've uh, survived the teleport to nobody's surprise. Here's a two-headed ogre. Well, you know, fireball a bit. Here's a centaur skeleton. Not that big a deal. An ogre. You know, we can conjure flame and, well... Could have pulled him into the Conjure Flame with Lesser Beckoning, but that's the less safe option than just shooting him. So, you know, Fireball. Uh, let's Conjure Flame. And just Flame Tongue, I guess. Actually, shoot the Sling here. It's more mana efficient, since it doesn't cost mana. Alright, well, that was easy. Conjure Flame's a pretty good spell, I would say. Are we about done with D9? I think we might be. I think we might be about done. There we go. And I don't think we need to do D10. We could probably just head into the lair at this point. Test the scroll. It's teleport. All right. So I'm not going to be training evocations, but the Wand of Enslavement is still good through the lair probably. Not training evocations because we just won't have the inventory space. That's the problem with that. Um, yeah, let's head back up and kill Grinder, I guess. I forget what floor that was, but we'll get a notification if we just keep an eye out. Oh, yeah. Grinder's on this floor. We have resist negative if we swap. Fireball, it's at 5%. I mean, it doesn't matter. Here's Grinder. Fireball, there we go. Another cloak. And we'll just clear out the level here. Get that exploration piety. We have a ruined door. We can probably do that. Looks like it's a B.O. altar. So, you know, throw out some fireballs here. Got him. 
And we just keep throwing out fireballs. It's pretty good against groups like this, I would say. Pretty good against these kinds of groups. We can conjure flame here and shoot the sling a little bit while we get some mana back. And maybe... Oh, he's going to sticky flame. Didn't get the chance. Oh well. Another priest. But we can just fireball. And auto explore has to stand on everything, of course. Hey, uh, enchant armor, a staff of earth, some gloves, plus two gloves. Those are very good. And the staff of earth in X crawl actually gives us plus three AC. So, I guess I'll make that my default uh, weapon. That on A. Put the sling on B. There we go. Now we have some. Extra armor, 15 AC is not bad. Let's head into the lair, I guess. Maybe we'll get some earth magic. Wave of Frost. So we have an ice cave. We have one magic mapping scroll as well. But let's see if we can find the ice cave entrance. See how close it is. Um, not sure I want to use fireball here. It's very loud. We can try and just hit this guy with the sling a bit and sticky flame him conjure flame freeze etc um, I could also I could also pull him into a flame cloud no he just walks in okay well that's that's fine I guess if he wants to do that distant melting archway well that doesn't really mean anything uh, there's a porcupine over here I'm used to having the sling. I don't like having to swap to shoot stuff. Maybe I should leave the sling on by default, but... Well, whatever. Sticky flame here. Mm. Maybe I should just fireball this guy. But sticky flame should work. There we go. There's our uh, target for shield training. Let's rest up and grab this ring. We can check out the ring. It is sea invisible. Well, it's nice to have. All right, distant melting archway. Here's another ghost vault, I guess. Maybe I should go ahead and maybe I should go ahead and magic map. Not sure. Uh, no, not not flame tongue. I want to use sticky flame. Um, let's go ahead and magic map here. All right, here's the ice cave over this way. It's not very difficult to get to, but I wanted to get in. We do have cold resistance? Well, if we swap to the scale mail, we have cold resistance. Hmm. Ice caves without cold resistance are actually kind of nasty, but we do have fireball, which makes this uh, a lot easier. Well, there goes all our mana, and we made a bunch of noise. Hmm. Yeah, uh, here's a here's a snake as well, which will chase us down. Here's a hydra. Let's uh, sticky flame. And we'll walk around a little bit. We actually have some armor, so... This is not as bad as it would otherwise be. Probably going to need to rest upstairs here. Alright, let's, let's rest upstairs a little bit. And try on this scale mail of cold resistance. Fireball at 38. Uh... Hmm... We can't afford the Cloak of Starlight. We have resistance? No, we don't. No resistance potions. Hmm. We're still training spellcasting, which will bring this failure rate down a bit, but I don't think we're going to be able to wear this scale mail. Eh, you know, it's not that big a deal. It's just try and make it into the ice cave. How bad can it be, right? Well, it can be pretty bad, but whatever. 
Oh, we have, wait, we have wizardry. Right, I'm forgetting uh, we took off the wizardry ring. Let's try that on, and now it's 16% for fireball. That's acceptable, actually. Let's uh, focus spell casting for the moment. Try and get that failure rate down just a little bit more. Leave on wizardry. Hey, deck summoning. That's pretty good. Uh, flame tongue. All right. Here's the hydra as well, but we can go in, I assume. So 16% failure on fireball. Here's a miscast. Oh, that's fine. I could have escaped if we got too many miscasts, and we can walk away from the Hydra. Everything will still be as we left it. Boots. Uh, we should have some ice statues in here, yeah. And a white ugly thing. Alright. Well, let's try and fireball that, I guess. It is faster than us, so... We can't just run away, unfortunately. Yeah, but we get it. Fireball's pretty good. Yeah, let's rest up here. Uh, sticky flame. Try that again. Fireball. Oh, we're starving. Right. They don't heal, by the way, so... There's no particular hurry taking them out. Fireball, fireball, miscast, okay. Mm, sticky flame. What's our hunger at? Pretty low on sticky flame. Pretty high on fireball. Which is exactly what I thought it was. Alright, let's try this again. And, you know... Sticky flame these guys, I guess. A lot of the stuff in here is vulnerable to fire. And I don't really care if we go through some food. It's not that big a deal. I just don't want to accidentally die. I think I'll step in and try to hit the ugly thing behind the statue. Well, actually, it's just going to... Never mind. <laughs> it's just going to run away and heal. So maybe I'll pass... Try and be safe. Ish. And we go through some more food. It's fine. We'll get food in the lair, I'm sure. Uh, let's rest. So we have mana for the ugly thing. We miscast. Uh, okay, that was, that was a misclick caused by my mouse being on the screen. That was a mistake. Sorry about that. Just need to keep the mouse off the screen. Uh, well, we keep using Sticky Flame here. Uh, did we gain any spell casting? We're down to 12% fail on Fireball, actually. So that's pretty good. Uh, let's just kill this thing. Got it. All right. Here's the ugly thing. We should be able to Fireball it to death, probably. I'd like to save enough for a couple Sticky Flames, though. We have Ambrosia Brilliance. We have some wand charges if we need them. We could try and disintegrate, I guess. It resists, of course. Mm. Okay, well, we got it once. Um, fireball, I guess. Sticky Flame. And there's 10 spell casting. Alright, let's get some more fighting then. Let's get like 8 dodging. Maybe. Maybe I want some armor skill. Oh. Well, eventually we will. We can get like three or so for now. And we'll get our invocations up to nine or ten. I don't know. There's no particular hurry on invocations. It's good with Nemelex. It's just not, it's not that important. And we need to eat again, of course. There we go. Well, let's keep going. It looks like we're done, actually. Um, Ring of Magic Protection. Hey, that's pretty good. 
very important for the orcish mines. We got a ring of ice, so okay. Emergency poison resistance, I guess. Not poison resistance. Um, emergency cold resistance. And of course the book of ice, which we can't use at all. Well, let's get out of here and run away from this Hydra, who is a bit closer to us now, but that's okay. I could conjure flame, I guess. I believe they just walk into him. Seven-headed Hydra. Do I want to risk it? Uh, not really, but we don't have multiple stairs to re-approach this guy from a different angle. So... Hmm, yeah, alright. Yeah, he just walks in. Uh, we can try a summoning deck, I guess. Yeah, okay. There's a dancing weapon. That's pretty good. Let's try the acid wand. We got him corroded. Okay, sticky flame. Um, we're wearing kind of heavy armor. We have those pearl dragon scales that maybe we'll buy someday. I don't know. Let's get some strength. We picked up Petrify, uh, huh, okay, are we going to be a Petrify Stabber? We don't have any Short Blades training. Do we have a good Dagger? Maybe, probably not, um, okay, well I'll learn it I guess. We have Amnesia, don't we? No we don't, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind, we don't. Okay. Let's let's head back to the entrance and just drop off some junk here. Maybe upstairs. Yeah, let's drop stuff off upstairs. Armor we're not wearing. Uh we don't need this staff. We don't need the ring of ice. Eh, maybe we do. It's just this scroll, it's fog, sure. Um, drop off some scrolls, enchant scrolls, of course. Drop off disintegration wands, maybe. Eh, they're fine for now. Well, I guess this is enough inventory space. We have a lot of blink scrolls for some reason, which is good, but hmm, just a little weird. Feels weird to have blink scrolls. What a e overly easy game. Like, is this thing balanced or what? That's cursed teleportation. Don't need that, of course. And you can just conjure flame, flame tongue these guys all day. Got him. We have a sling as well, I suppose. Or I could have used Fireball. That might have been faster. Well, here's a Rapier. I guess we could use this for stabbing stuff if we want. I don't know. Fireball. Uh, okay. Uh, flame Tongue? I don't know. We can just Sticky Flame this guy, I guess. We have pretty decent defense, actually. Yaks also died a sticky flame reasonably well. Hippogriffs, well, same thing. May take two casts, depending on your spell power. Hmm. I'm gonna start petrifying stuff. Uh, well, we got it. Now what? Do we use a spear? I mean, it died, but <laughs> it's not really, it's not really the most elegant solution here. Petrify a spiny frog. Uh, we got it. I don't think it's going to die. Yeah, it, it did not die. Sticky Flame's a little bit easier, I guess. Eh, I can grab the rapier, that's a little better for stabbing. Train some short blades. Or we could grab a dagger. I don't know. Let's get one short blades. Let's be extravagant. 
get a whole one weapon skill. Uh, porcupine. Uh, I might just start fireballing everything. No, we miscast it twice in a row. Okay. I understand, game. Well. Probably gonna go through some more food here. That's okay. <coughs> well, that's layer one clear. We do want to explore everything for that Nemelex piety, which is up to two now. Missing any armor. Just check our uh, equipment here, check our shopping list. We don't have a hat. No hats. That's fine. Let's head down here. Well, we can ID a, a potion, I guess. We got. Invisibility, hey, that's pretty good. Let's clear out around the stairs, then we'll auto-explore. Another blink scroll? Really? Maybe I need to start playing more sloppily here to really take advantage of what the game is offering me. Well, here's Nergal. Nergal is pretty dangerous. Poor chance to petrify. We have Acid Wand Charges, we have Fireball, we have Sticky Flame. We can blink out if we need to. We have Summoning Decks. Hmm. She does Bolt of Draining. Let's get Resist Negative on here. And maybe just Fireball Sticky Flame. And now what? Now what do we do? I guess I could have used Conjure Flame here and then pulled her into it. Let's see if she'll give us some space here. We'll walk around. Either she follows us, in which case she dies to Sticky Flame, or she doesn't, in which case we pull her into Conjure Flame. That didn't work. Okay. Uh, sticky Flame. Whatever. It's fine. <laughs> We had summoning decks if we needed them. It's not that big a deal. Alright. Here's a swamp worm. I don't like those very much. They like to pull you towards them. It's quite nasty. You can fireball them though. Like that. Um, oh! Right. That just killed the the plant. Let's back off a little bit. Maybe even exclude this whole area? No, never mind. Uh, this is okay. For now. I kind of want to be leaving now. If we miscast that fireball, that might have been bad. And we haven't even... Yeah, see, this is, this is what I was worried about. Let's summon. Wow, that's quite strong. These yaks are actually dying. Okay. Let's summon... Hmm. Surely this is enough? Is it? Come on. Come on, game. Like, th this has to be enough, right? I'll just back off here. Okay. Yeah. Took two summoning cards. Those swamp worms, I guess, are pretty strong. You, you please fight... Ah, I guess we'll fireball it then. All right. We hit level 12. Yeah, that was when we got Petrify. Not really what I was hoping for, but it's okay. It's something. Legendary Destruction Deck, hey. Maybe I should have used that against those Swamp Worms. Artifact Scale Mail. Plus 5, Int plus 4. Yes, I will wear that. Let's ID some potions as well. We got Degeneration. We got Berserk. We don't want to go Berserk. Never want to go Berserk. Alright. Let's put on this armor. Mm. Drop off this other one. 
Fireball at 6%. Eh, maybe we want some more spellcasting. We can get 11 spellcasting here. Get the failure rate down while wearing this heavier armor. Get like 4 armor. We need to train something, right? Maybe 10 invocations. Sure, let's get 10 invocations. All right, back down. And we'll just finish off layer two here. Another ring is protection from fire, sure. I'd like some multi-resistance rings though because we're gonna run out of inventory space. Being a Nemelex follower, there's the ghost vault with, um, yeah, we don't really need an artifact axe. Here's the basilisk, which reminds me, maybe I should leave magic protection on, actually. That brings it to 13% to petrify. Now let's just sticky flame this guy. Can't eat them, right? All right, let's head down to layer three. Maybe we can get some food here. Although, it doesn't look like we will. Yeah, Black Mamba, let's head up for a bit. And let's eat. And then we'll head back down. Snakes have bad magic resistance, but they also have bad sticky flame resistance and bad um, fireball resistance. Unless you miscast it at 6%. I mean, this guy's dead, but we can pull him up. No, he took another Sticky Flame. All right. Whatever. All right, we have some Merfolk Sirens here. That's concerning. But they should die to Fireball. No, there's a Basilisk as well. Hmm. Let's try a different Stairwell. All right. Electric Eel. Um... I mean, Fireball will just kill him. Make Steam Clouds too. Enchant Armor, always nice. We got a Wolf, probably part of a pack. Yep, it is part of a pack. So, you know, Sticky Flame and or Fireball does a good job. Good job of dealing with Wolves. Could fireball this guy, or we could sticky flame him. I mean, let's fireball. Keep him away from us while he's berserk. Uh, sticky flame these guys. They are fast. I just remember, don't sticky flame stuff in the water. That's obviously kind of silly. Doesn't work so well. Let's clear out around the stairs, and here's a Basilisk who tried to petrify us right there. Uh, Wyvern is fast, but we can Sticky Flame that. Yeah. There we go. Now this is safe. Now it's safe to fight the Basilisk. Safe-ish. Does take all our mana. Hang out by the teleport trap, I guess. Alright. Another deck of summoning, and now our inventory is full. Let's ID a potion, lignification. Alright. Let's walk this siren back a bit. I don't like these sirens so much. They're pretty they're pretty dangerous. Now we can now we can fight. Just uh, worried about getting mobbed if I move in. Mesmerize is pretty bad as a caster, more so than as a melee guy. Uh, what are we going to drop off here? Maybe Unknown Scrolls. Uh, degeneration, that can go. Low on ID. Um, let's drop Unknown Potions. I guess the... Oh, Tomahawks can go. Turn those off. Stones, don't need those. Yeah, let's just turn off some ammo here. 
Never go throwing in Nemelex. You'll have a bad time. Too much stuff for your inventory. Um, we could probably lose the sling now that we have Fireball, but I like it with Conjure Flame. I guess, maybe. The Rapier is for Petrify Stabbing, but are we actually going to do that ever? Probably not. Okay. Disintegration. We'll get rid of that later. Alright. Uh, we were going to leave the Staff of Earth on, that's right. Except I got annoyed. <laughs> Forgetting to swap as appropriate. That's fine though. Let's head back down. And back down. This is fine. And we'll keep going here. You can just fireball everything. He walks into the flame cloud. There we go. Hoping to get some food though. Oh, another wyvern? Maybe we can eat that? Nope. Here's a crocodile. Maybe we can hit it with the sling and sticky flame it? Nope, no food. There's a killer bee. Uh, we can't eat those. We can fireball and sticky flame them though. Yeah, we have to eat. Alright. I was gonna drop off enchant armor? Or did we get another one? Now I don't even remember. Whatever. Let's uh, keep going here. If we're gonna fight one killer bee at a time repeatedly, I guess that's fine with me. Um, Sticky flame, fireball. So far so good. These bees are very dangerous when you have low AC, but now that I look at it, we have 21 AC, which is not low. That's typical for a well-equipped melee character, I guess. We're, we're pretty well defensively off. Could use some more dodging. I mean, we are wearing scale mail, right? That's melee character armor. And it's plus five too, which is pretty solid. Plus two gloves. Yeah. Full equipment slots is pretty nice. If you have at least decent luck. It's, I feel like some people underrate the importance of how many equipment slots you have. Berserk bees, those are bad. Um, well, now we're out of mana. Sticky flame. There we go. Let's retreat. And we rest. And we head back out. Now we're mesmerized. Gonna have to eat, probably. We can hide behind a tree, I guess. Okay. Uh, use a sling. Okay. Got him. Thanks for the food. Another bee. Alright. More bees. Any more bees? Yep. Here's another bee. Another bee. Anybody else? Yes. Now we're done. Here are the snakes. Well, fireball works pretty well. And now we need to eat. Alright. grab this food here. Now we have quite a bit of food. That's always nice. Um, let's head back a little bit here. Look over here. Head to a cleared area for a bit. You can conjure flame. Uh, fireball, right. Being a little bit um, overly cautious, perhaps, but that's that's okay. You just have to manage your mana a little bit. Try not to fight too many things at a time. Sticky flame, fireball, and we're out of mana. 
which is what I meant by mana management. You have to just use your spells until you run out of mana, and then you run away. It's an infallible strategy. Never fails. We go down, we go up, we sticky flame, we walk around. Got him. Well, back down we go. Pretty soon we'll just be able to fireball everything, I guess. Failure rate 4%. All right, 11 spell casting will definitely be enough. Definitely. Actually, 10.5 is enough, but I guess we can get 11. Probably. Seems affordable. This all seems reasonable enough. Uh, rest and then explore. All right. We can now deal four if we want. That's pretty good. And what else do we have on this level? Anything? Looks like we're done. We got s some more decks, but we're done with the level. Let's head down to layer four here. A Catoblopus. Not actually that bad. Can't petrify it. He's going to shoot uh, Petrifying Dust at us, but that's okay. We just don't want to... Um, well, we need to pull him upstairs and not get Petrified. If we get Petrified and he's next to us, that's kind of bad. But... Yeah, this is okay. Now we need to go up. He might die. No, he doesn't. I, I probably should have just fought there, but... Oh well, that's fine. I haven't used the destruction decks yet, but... Well, you don't have to use them. They're just available if you're trying to conserve mana. You don't want to use them when stuff is next to you, though, so you want to use them early on big fights. Don't use them late. Use them early. Start off the fight with the destruction decks like here. Let's use one. Wild magic, nothing. The storm, okay. Uh, you two fight? Well, we'll just fireball here. Please, please fight the, the thing. Now we're gonna get petrified. Alright, let's uh, sticky flame this guy. And we'll just sit here and flame tongue him. All right, so yeah, that's a destruction deck for you. Not necessarily that good. Oh, that's a manticore. That's dangerous, let's fireball it. Basilisk, that's uh, concerning. Let's uh, fireball it. Uh, another basilisk, let's run away. <laughs> Get our mana back here. And sit on the stairs and then fireball it. No, that's not what I want. We're petrifying. Let's go up. Okay. Wait a little bit. Let's try this again. Fireball. Got him. Fireball. Easy. Okay, that's better. Four-headed Hydra. Not so bad, but combined with Basilisks, they're really bad. Eh, let's just sticky flame this guy. Got him. We have enough armor that they're not so bad. Let's go to the Ring of Ice here. Uh, just so we take less damage from the Flash Freeze. Here's another snake, another wyvern, alright, another rhyme drake, should die to fireball, no, sling finishes him off, alright, did we get one slings, well, whatever, it's fine, we don't need to train slings, that's, 
extremely redundant. Uh, sling and sticky flame is all you need, I would say, for most enemies in the lair. Basilisk, we want to pull back and fireball though. Yeah, there's the petrify. Yep. All right. Well, it wasn't a big deal, which is always nice. Let's sticky flame. So far, so good. So far, so good. It's it's kind of repetitive, I guess. This is why I don't necessarily like fire elementalists. Because you just sort of do the same thing over and over. You can conjure flame if you want, I guess. And yeah. Don't sticky flame the same thing twice. That was silly. But there's a lot of walking around, pulling stuff back, you know, fireball. I feel like Earth Elementalists have a little more variety because of LRD and Petrify. I mean, we have Petrify, but we can just fireball everything. It's sort of the spell that defines the Fire Elementalist over everything else. Mm, more Hippogriffs. Sticky Flame too, early on. But mostly Fireball. Enchant Weapon. Here's a Basilisk and a Yak Simulacrum. We still have the Resist Cold on, right? Uh, which is leaving us Fire Vulnerable, so that's bad, but we know we have some Simulacra around. Let's conjure Flame to block that off in case we get petrified. Um, just fireball this guy or walk back or something I don't know it's it's fine and we have too many decks now we're gonna have to drop some of these off let's block this guy off in case we get petrified we do but we kill him alright let's keep going Another simulacrum. We don't want to be fire vulnerable though. We could run into a lindworm and just get wrecked, so let's leave that off most of the time. <laughs> Forgetting to swap away from that. Here's a necromancer, which I should have expected. Oh, that was agony, right? And he has bolt of fire or bolt of cold. We can't protect from both. That's not so good. Uh, hmm, 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 I underestimated him. We can probably kill him with another fireball. Am I going to risk it? I could lignification for extra HP. I could invisibility. I could heal wounds. Let's, uh, Lignification, I guess. Yeah, okay. And then we'll just Fireball this guy when he comes. We can Curing as well. There we go. It's a 50% HP bonus, I believe. Another Hippogriff. That was a bit dangerous though. All right, a uh, good reason to leave on magic resistance, in fact. Do we need wizardry still? Fireball goes to 9%, we kind of do. I could get more spell casting instead, but it's getting quite expensive. Uh, this is what happens when you wear scale mail as a mage, I guess. Let's go do layer five. All right, we got a black mamba. We got some water moccasins. 
We're going to have more stuff coming because we just fireballed. Let's kill this guy off as soon as possible. We will sticky flame these guys. And we're out of mana. Let's head up. We got the kills, but we want to exclude this off now. Let's try a different stair and hope we don't get surrounded by hydras immediately. Actually, let's drop some stuff off. Um, we don't really need duplicate decks. Later on, we might want them for deal four, but we don't need deal four yet. We'll keep one fresh summoning. Uh, all right, this is probably enough decks. Can drop off some scrolls and ID a potion. Let's ID some stuff here. Flight. Amnesia. Noise. Okay. Well, we can drop those. And there's some more inventory space for us. Let's head back down. Check our skills. We're almost to our targets. We're very, very close. So let's take a look at our available weapons in case we want to start training a weapon here. We have a glowing quarter staff. We can check that out. Let's do so. All oh, right. Uh, we're using a buckler of protection. Never mind. I don't actually care. I don't actually care. Okay, look at other weapons. Can we search for one-handed one weapons? Hmm, apparently not. There's the artifact hand axe in the ghost vault. Dire flail. Hmm. Nothing particularly amazing. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go for unarmed. Maybe not quite yet, but we have Clause 1, that's bonus unarmed damage, which is pretty good. Pretty good. We're as good at unarmed as a ghoul is. Let's check the stairs, that's the bad stairs, or is it? No, we don't know that one. We excluded the, the bad one. See, this is why I like to exclude stairs, because the inspection is a little bit unreliable, <laughs> as you can see. There's a dream sheep. This is concerning. Two dream sheep. That's even worse. Uh, we have a decent amount of armor. Yeah, we got put to sleep. Hmm... I guess this is a reason to keep Berserk around. Let's use the summoning deck. Let's... Oh, I should have used the deck of destruction, maybe. Let's just fireball. Our summons will distract this stuff if we get put to sleep. And we've hit all our skill targets. Let's get a little bit more spell casting. And let's get unarmed. Let's get a little more fighting get I don't know this is probably all fine unarmed is a bit questionable for sure it's not necessarily the correct pl the correct play or I don't know it's a little bit weird anyway we have some dream sheep and Nessos just came on the screen so we should leave we may need to fear scroll as well. We could fear scroll now. I think I'll try to go up the stairs. I believe we can get put to sleep as we do so. Nah, we're fine, apparently. And yeah, let's exclude this off. Nessos, huh? Nessos plus dream sheep. That's 
incredibly nasty. That's worse than Hydra plus Dream Sheep. Huh. Well, is it? I mean, it's not necessarily worse, but it's... It's very bad in a different way. Equally bad, let's say. You can stand on these stairs for a bit, make noise with Fireball, and pull everything. Yeah, here's Nessos again. We can try and Fireball Nessos to death, but we need full mana for that. And if we head back down, the Dream Sheep could be here. We can try and... Um, Destruction deck him as well. Uh, convulses. Okay. Let's fireball. No, let's destruction again. We got vitriol. Um, let's go again. We got vitriol again. Okay. Maybe disintegrate. What's Disintegrate like on Nessos? 74. That's pretty good. Yeah, I like, I like these odds. We got him. Let's go again. Let's fireball. Fireball. And there goes Nessos. Alright. We also have a glowing longbow. Let's turn off unarmed for a second in case we want to use that. Although it would have to be pretty good for me to give up this shield. Is it safe to pull this spiny frog up? It probably is. And some mana to sticky flame him though. Alright. Well, there goes Nessos. Um, hmm. Let's try and check out his longbow. Sticky flame this stuff. easy. Just shoot him with the sling. Alright, let's grab this longbow here. Oh, it's a black mamba. Sticky flame and sit on the stairs. Nothing else comes. Okay. Longbow of flaming. And a potion. Let's uh, head back up here. And check this out real quick. Drop the shield. Plus two of flaming. What's our aptitude again? Um, zero. Eh, let's go for unarmed. It's kind of interesting to go unarmed in spells. Because it's usually really bad. Uh, that makes it interesting, right? Anyway, uh, it seems like a good stopping point, so... I think I'll end things here since it's past 50 minutes. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.